Hey y'all, I'm going to shoot another little video. I was playing around with the go-kart a little bit today, running around, uh, chasing down some tubing from Metal Mart, uh, mailing the crank off to get uh, to get worked on. We sent it off to uh, a reputable engine builder. So, um, yeah, just started playing around with the cart a little bit. Um, I, I, I told you before in another video, I showed you how we measure... Uh, from the tip of the nose of the car, and uh, this is literally the tip. I gave it a little extra here, but um, we're allowed 110 inches. So I want you to see what I did with this bumper. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Look how it looks like a dragster. Uh, look how ridiculous that is. And believe it or not, that isn't even the full 110 inches. Um, let me measure it off here and I'll show you. Hang on. Trying to, one hand with two hands. Hang on, folks. Hang in there. There we go. So, uh, as you can see, we're, uh, we're, we're about 108, uh, maybe a hair under. Um, but uh, we've got another two inches to go. Uh, well, if we measure the aluminum there, maybe 109. Uh, but uh, working on, uh, we, want, we want the length, you know. Here, let me sit you right here. We want the length to be able to put the radiator in here like so it's I want it to stay under where you're sitting that plane of where the side panel is um, I've got molds to make these side panels so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna make a panel and cut it in half and use half on each side here to extend the, the side panels and then we'll use uh, uh, the, the window glass to lay up a piece of black fiberglass to cover across the middle and eventually uh, with all new body work, we'll do um, head pod or cone, uh, uh, um, disappearing cone, right? It'll start the size of the headrest or so and, and get smaller and disappear to zero. Uh, not a big dorsal fin like some of these other jabrones, but uh, um, yeah, so uh, this is what we want to do. Um, I don't know if you've seen the, the new, uh, new line radiator for CIK. Is about this size and instead of sitting on the cart like this it is literally flat like this and the air scoop that feeds the air to the radiator comes from underneath they have a, uh, a spoiler or a little deflector to trip the air so it'll it'll you know pull the air off but uh, it's got a, a, a scoop that comes about here and comes down and feeds cools the first half of the radiator and then a little another scoop that's a little deeper closer to the ground in the same position on the CIK cart uh, that, that cools the top half or the second half of the radiator um, look look for it out there in uh, internet land um, it was an Italian um, karting magazine it's not uh, Vroom or Zoom or whatever the heck it is uh, it's some uh, some cart cart IT or something uh, but they had a story about the new line folks uh, coming up with that thing, track testing it with a composite company that altered and, and kept working on the scoop. And they run on a sprint track, they run 47C or 43C, so it's like uh, under a buck 30, right? So, um, anyway, this is what we want to do. We have the length to play with. Um, I didn't. I don't want it here where this rocks and debris will be coming off the tire, even though there'd be an air box here. I'd want it inside the frame rail. So we can use the air on, that's coming out from under the car to help pull the air out the back side of the radiator once the air box is made. So um, at this point, it's just, uh, I think what I'm going to do to mount the, uh, locate and mount the, the front side of the radiator is we're going to do this. We'll get some uh, inch and a quarter, this is inch and an eighth, um, two piece uh, shaft collars is what they're called and uh, we can weld tabs on them or whatever and uh, and, and locate and mount the bottom of, of the radiator and then I think what we're going to do is uh, cut this down which this isn't welded together yet see we uh, oh obviously it's not welded together yet so uh, what we can do is uh, shorten those pieces up a little bit until the uh, the top of the radiator or the the end there with the cap gets a little bit closer to the the end of the bumper um so we're not uh we're not a, we're not looking like a dragster you know i mean this is i mean i granted would you cover it with bodywork nobody's gonna know 
what's going on here anyway, but um, I'll know, and of course you'll know, because I show you guys everything. I went out today and bought some, uh, some one inch uh, DOM, which is, which is drawn over mandrel. This is the next best thing to chrome molly um, if you don't have a, an aircraft type place, and I bought this to actually go over top of these tubes here um, to slide over top to beef it up. Um, if I was going to actually run the bumper this long, that's exactly what I'd do, is I would put this DOM over top of here like a sleeve and uh, strengthen that up. We do have, as you saw, some, some 5 8 uh, round stock inside the bumper. Um, it's all the way to the 5 8 stock that's inside of here from when we extended it the last time. So uh, it's, it's getting pretty heavy too. Um, but all these, all these changes uh, are coming for the winter, permanent changes. Um, we intend to do some things with the body work that um, might seem a little unorthodox to some people. And I'm not going to tell you about it now because I don't want other people copying me before I get it on the track first. And, uh, and that's all I can tell you about it right now. But um, here we are. Trying to get ready for Gingerman. We've still got a month, month and a half, month and a half, month and you know, five weeks, whatever. Plenty of time. Uh, side panel molds are over at Richie's house there in the garage. Um, we got to make a little um, partial panel in our nose cone mold to cover up those old holes in the front there from the old radiator. Um, but uh, it should look pretty slick with with some bodywork added on here, like you know, like the hundred cc carts, except way way faster. <laughs> that's right, I said it. So that's it, folks. Um, playing around with uh, again extending the bumper. Uh, really need to get start getting the radiator mounted up first before we decide how long. But we're certainly not going to go 110 again. Look at how ridiculous that looks. Without the extended bodywork on it, that thing, it does. It looks like a top fuel dragster, doesn't it? It's ridiculous. Um, I'd have to get a bigger trailer. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it from uh, Racing Roseville, RPM headquarters. We're playing around, trying to get it ready. Getting over to Gingerman. Talk to y'all. God bless.